videos will help serve as a tutorial for creating the circular flanged part. So within activity 5.5a, we're going to take a look at creating this circular flanged piece and then also using a circle pattern tool to pattern 10 holes around the outside edge of the part. So first thing they do is they want us to go through and model the part utilizing the dimensions shown in this little sketch and then also put setting in, it's kind of faint on the document, but setting in a center line right there in the middle. So in order to do that we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at start 2D sketch. For this particular revolve I usually start with the XY plane but to get it to show up in the correct orientation I'm going to do YZ. So I'm going to choose the YZ and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to draw the profile that they have sketched in the part for the activity. So just kind of rough outline of the profile. I'm going to go through and I'm going to draw a line in kind of below and then I'm going to make it a right click and make it a construction line. So as I do that I'm going to take a look at dimensioning. So first thing I'll do is I'll dimension from the bottom edge of the of the sketch to the center line and this is going to be 0.375 my sketch may expand or can contract a little bit based upon you know how big you drew the original sketch and then we'll go through and take a look at some of the other items so from the top of this line to the center center line which we're going to use as our um, axis in this case it's one inch from the top down to the center line as I go through and show the dimension here will be two inches, two and a half inches exactly. And then as I take a look at the width, the width of this part will be 0.5 and the entire width of the part will be at one inch. So as I go through and I have the dimensions set in, I will say finish sketch. I will click on the home button to bring it up in the better view and then I'll go through and take a look at revolving the part the profile automatically gets picked up all I have to do is say tell what axis that it is well I'll have to click on the construction line in the axis for it to get to revolve the part around the axis and then I'll say OK so within this document the other thing that they tell us is that to go through into pattern in 10 holes and they tell us that we're gonna have a, a half an inch diameter holes to be put along that but they don't tell us how far away to look at the part. So in order to set those in I'm going to start 2D sketch on this flanged face of the part. I will probably need to project the geometry of the of the features there and then I will set in a point that is vertical with the origin of the part so I'm going to set it right about here and then I will go through and dimension from the point to the origin I usually do about two inches so two inches will go through and provide a good amount of spacing that's nice and even so I'll say finish sketch after I do that I'll look for the hole command so hole command gets picked up automatically we're just doing a regular through hole at 0.5 inches I'll click OK and then from here I'm going to use the circular pattern tool in 3D to circular pattern the holes around this part. So first thing it looks for is what features that I want to pattern. So I'll choose just the circular feature there. So when I go through and get it, it'll highlight blue. And then I have to say what rotation axis. So I'll click on the red arrow in the rotation axis dialog. And then I'm going to choose the outside edge of the part. And it will go through and show what direction. And right now that we'll have six holes in there. We do want to change that to 10. Once I do that, I'll say OK. And that will go through and finish out our circular flange part for this model.